Here is the 2007 Rinker 246 Captiva. It's equipped with a cuddy. And that gives you a good idea of what the boat looks like from the side. It's got under 85 hours on it. It's in very good condition. And here is a nose shot of the Rinker 246. This is the aft and interior of the Rinker 246. I'll try to walk a little closer to give you better views with a big sun pad and that's also the engine below that sun pad. It's got a very large swim platform, plenty of cup holders, storage for lines in the middle there. And give you a good shot of the interior of the rinker. Let's talk about the bimini. As you can see, it's in very good shape. Very tight bimini. Then also there is a full boat cover there. It covers the entire boat. Not the entire boat, I should say the entire cockpit of the boat. And then beyond that is the boot for the bimini because it folds On the up. swim platform there's large storage for lines, any kind of games you're bringing on the water. Then you have a little box of storage over there on the port side, as well as a deep ladder on the starboard side. You also have stereo controls there as you enter the boat. So you don't have to go all the way in the boat if you're on the beach. And then over to this side is a small shower. Starting at the swim platform, you have the option of having carpet down all the way throughout the boat. Or you can take that carpet up and just roll it up and put it a in. A nice feature to the cockpit of the boat is this step. It allows you to step into the boat, but of course it has a piece fit there so when everybody's in the boat and everybody can sit it becomes a giant u-shaped lounge and that will show you the condition of the vinyl as you can see all the vinyl is in very good condition with bolsters on the passenger seat as well as the captain's seat. next to the u-shaped lounge you have a little wet bar area with a sink and running water as well as if you go in back of the U-shaped lounge, you'll see that you have either a garbage receptacle or you could pour ice in there and keep drinks cold. And as I mentioned earlier, underneath the sun pad is the engine. You can tell it's a Merc Cruiser 350 mag. As you can see, the engine room is spotless. There you have your battery controls, as well as your battery. And that, and that will bring us to our helm. As you can see, the captain's seat has an, is equipped with a bolster. It's a very, very nice appointed helm. As you can see, instrumentation is bright and visible. All your engine and battery monitors, speed, RPMs, depth finder, your lights, bilge pump, horn, and also down below here is a blower as well as a key hole then you have your stereo controls and of course last but not least your throttle as you can see here they're in the cuddy in the interior it's very very well done nice touches nice finishing touches kind of give you an idea of the full range of the cuddy now that is with the table set up I'll show you some more of the interior in a second but that shows you the table and the lounge area and here we have it set up as a berth as you can see it is quite sizable plenty of room all around that shows you when it is converted into the berth and the table is taken out and once on the interior of the cabin you will see that it has a cabinet on the starboard side but as you can see they really did a nice job at finishing this cabin off 
couple of cupboards, while down below is a small porta potty. And then if we switch sides, it's going to give you your stereo. Also as well, another large storage cabinet.